Hi, this is Clara. I wanted to show you three ways that you can get money to do the repairs on your home when you purchase. Number one, see how much a credit you can get from the sellers and make those credits towards your closing costs. If you put the credits towards your repairs, it's going to raise a red flag with your lender and so it's better off just to get the credits towards your closing costs and that way you'll have money if you need to for any repairs that you might want to do and you're going to be limited to about three percent of your sales price so if your sales price is about a million dollars you're going to be limited to thirty thousand dollars number two what if the seller doesn't want to give you credit well then you might want to raise the purchase price by the amount that you need and ask for credits at that time. Make sure to check with your agent and with your lender before you go this route. And number three, incorporate the costs into your loan and seek a price decrease. Now let's talk about incorporating those costs into your loan. So you're putting down 20%. On a million dollar purchase, 20% is 200,000. One of the things you can do is get what's called an 80-10-10 loan. You get 80% loan, a 10% loan, and 10% is going to be your down payment. So instead of putting down 200,000, you're only putting down 100,000. Now that is going to change your loan parameters. So make sure to talk with your agent and with your loan officer about those two items. Now, decrease in price. You can get a decrease in price. Again, that's going to be a bonus. That would be a negotiation tool for your agent to talk to the listing agent and try to get that worked out. So let's just say you have that million dollar house you need thirty to fifty thousand dollars in repairs. You can certainly ask for a thirty to fifty thousand dollar decrease in the price, but what you're not going to get is cash in hand to be able to do those repairs. Why? Because remember, even if your price decreases, what that means is that your loan is going to be lower. So just having a lower loan isn't necessarily going to give you the cash that you need to do the repairs. Oh, and one more thing. If you're a seller, you get an inspection ahead of time. That would give you a really good idea of what your price should be on the home. It can also give you a great idea of some of those things that you might want to take care of before you put the property up for sale. And you don't need to come up with the money for that because we have a great program where you can get repairs and remodels done ahead of time and you don't have to pay until the close of escrow. And it's really great because it'll get you a lot more interested buyers in a property that's ready to go. For more information, make sure to follow me. This is Clara Duran Reed with the Duran Reed Firm Realtors. Make sure to give me a call on how to buy and sell your home. Take care. Bye.